Hey everybody, it's Bruce with Board Game Impact, and in this video, I'm going to continue my mech stomping romp with a fun little dive and unboxing of the Battletech Inner Sphere Direct Fire Lance. A very long name that doesn't really tell you much about it, so let's jump right in and I'll tell you why I bought this one. And you can see what these four cool mechs are inside of here, because who doesn't want just mechs running around their game table? So, let's get to the table. Okay, so we've got the Battletech Inner Sphere Direct Fire Lance Expansion Pack for Battletech, a game of armored combat, and just regular Battletech, to be honest. You can use these with, like, anything. Um, so let's open this up. Oh, hey, cards. They just flopped right out. So let's start with the cards. It seems like they want to be looked at real bad. They're just literally jumping out of the box. Why won't this open? There we go. So in here, we've got the Crusader, that's going to be this mech. We've got the Orion, we're going to lay these out. We've got the Marauder 2, and the Atlas. And then we've got some different pilots. And we didn't play with pilots when I played, but it would be another way to play. Another thing to add in. Because Battletech as itself hasn't really changed in a very long time. So this is the Orion. That's pretty sweet. Look at the side profile. Like, how do you not want to just paint, jump in and paint this? Or at least play with a painted copy, I'll say that. Maybe you don't want to paint, but definitely want to paint with a painted copy. The top almost looks like a pelican from uh, Halo. That's cool. Like I said, pelican ship just dropped right onto a pair of legs and arms. That's really cool. So that's the, the Orion. Next up, we've got... Did I, put, I put these in the right order. That's cool. Um, so we have got the Crusader. Very dynamic pose with a giant thing on his arm. So I did this just so I have more variability when we want to play like 1v1 or 2v2 or 4 in a free-for-all, or three in a free-for-all. Probably four, though, because three tends to, in games, tends to have one person kind of get ganged up on. Don't really like that. He's got rockets on his legs. That's cool. Now, something interesting that I come to found out about this is that not all of the things you see on a mech, this is the Marauder 2, are actually even on the stat sheet. I mean, look how, like, cattywampus this is. It's got, like, a rockets over here, this tiny little thing over here, and this giant thing over here. Very much like would lean, in my opinion, but that's why you have stabilizers and gyros. Um, so it's not necessarily a WYSIWYG or a what you see is what you get. Literally, as long as you've got the sheet, that's all you need. But these are very cool. It's going to be cool to be able to download these. Like, this didn't even come with the sheets for it because those are all printable online. But I personally like to have them. Oh, by the way, this is double-sided with a different version of the item on the back. So that was the Marauder 2. And finally, the Atlas, which gets on the battle, Battletech like, videos and stuff a lot because the, top, the head's like a skull. It's so definitely going to be painting that up like a skull. Very cool. It's almost like a robot means, meets Korg from Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, Thor in Guardians of the Galaxy now. Because it's almost like a rock. Very cool. So that was the Atlas, Marauder, Orion, and Crusader. So let's get back to the table and let's talk about what we think about this. So that was a quick unboxing of the Battletech Inner Sphere Direct Fire Lance expansion pack which I'm adding to my collection of Battletech, a game of armor, armored combat. They're gonna, I think they're gonna fit perfectly just kinda in the box and underneath the insert. So all, now 12 of the mechs that I have, honestly, I think I'm set for Battletech. I know there's clans, I know there's all that kinds of stuff. Maybe once I finally paint all these, that kinds of stuff, but the fact that I can have every, everything for a tabletop game right in here, it's pretty great, pretty great. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, make sure to check out if this is your first time checking out Battletech. 
the unboxing I did for this, which is a base box that you can get. I got mine at Barnes and Noble. And, or also check out the kind of overview and impressions video um, that's coming out after this one. So make sure to hit subscribe wherever you're watching this. And no matter where you are in the world, I hope this has been helpful um, for you and your gaming group, maybe interests you in starting something new. Um, because price point wise, this was $59.99 for the big box and then this was 29 for this expansion this big box is besides for like gas lands where you use your own matchbox cars personally i think this is the cheapest entry into tabletop miniatures and because it literally comes with everything you need um so definitely definitely check out BattleTech. the rules haven't really changed in 30 years i think that's for a very good reason so if you want to see more make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time, but until then, go make your positive impact on the world.